Can you make your own silver polish at home for just pennies? Today we're going to find out. Watch and see. Hey friends, welcome back. Last week I showed you an amazing and fast way to remove tarnish from copper at virtually no cost. And a few of you commented and asked if that recipe would work for silver or other metals. And I said I would find out. So today I have two very tarnished silver plated necklaces. I have a bowl on my workbench where I toss in pieces of chain that I have left over from jewelry projects. And I separate the sterling and recycle that separately. But I have plenty of silver plated chains and thought two of those would be perfect to experiment with. So we're going to make two different mixtures. First, on the left, I'm going to put about a teaspoon of salt into the bowl. You can use table salt, you know, coarse kosher salt if you like, and we're going to add some white distilled vinegar. And I'm adding just a few tablespoons, like three tablespoons full. And just to let it set for a minute, mix it up, you know, let the salt dissolve a little bit. And we're going to put the first chain in that mixture. And you can mix this right up with your finger like I'm doing. There's nothing harmful. It's just salt and vinegar. And I'm gonna let these set for a few minutes and we'll check them again. And then um, we'll see what happens from there on. So for the second mixture, I'm gonna be using baking soda, just regular baking soda. And I'm gonna pour some of that into the bowl. I'm doing about mm, a tablespoon and a half, close to two tablespoons. And again, I'm gonna just give it a splash of that distilled white vinegar just a little bit. Um, here I'm putting probably two tablespoons in and you can see it effervesces right away. It starts to bubble. <laughs> and um, you know, I'm gonna put the second chain in that mixture. And again, I'm just giving them a little shake just to help dissolve the salt and the baking soda. And the baking soda, I, I ended up adding another teaspoon or so because it seemed that, you know, it was a little watery. I wanted it to be a little bit more like a paste. And so I'm gonna let them set. And we're gonna check them in five minutes. And let's see, it's now five minutes later. I have two different paper towels and I'm gonna wipe them off and we're gonna see if any dirt comes off on the paper towel. We're gonna see if the chain looks any different and uh, we're gonna compare them. And these are the same chains. They're both from the same manufacturer. So, um, you know, they're not from different manufacturers, different types of chain. They're the same kind of chain. And I think that makes it kind of a fair experiment. So here's the one that was in the baking soda. I'm gonna blot it off and I'm gonna pull it through the paper towel a little bit and I can already see that there's some dirt coming off of there. So yes, a little bit of dirt came off of that one, but it still looks tarnished. So I'm gonna put that back into the vinegar and baking soda solution and let that set for a while longer and we'll see what happens. So the one that we have in the salt and vinegar, I'm gonna blot that one off and I'm going to, again, like I did with the other one, I'm gonna give it a pull through a paper towel and we're gonna see if any dirt comes off. And you know, it doesn't look like anything is coming off of it. And not just that, it looks like the tarnish turned kind of a, almost a rose gold color. <laughs> so back they go, back into their baths and we are going to check them two hours later. They've been soaking for two hours. That salt is completely dissolved now and we're gonna wipe this one down again and see if there's any difference. Like I said, this one kind of, I don't know if the finish was just wearing off and you know, the brass was coming through, but it did get kind of a pinkish, like almost a rose gold kind of tone to it. And um, it still looks like there's no dirt coming off of it. So let's check our other one that we had in the baking soda and vinegar mixture. And I'm gonna do the same thing, wipe it off, pull it through. And the first time around after five minutes, it, it pulled some of the dirt off and let's see what happens now. So once or twice through and already I can see the tarnish coming off. And I'm pulling this kind of taut. I'm not, you know, just gently wiping it. I really wanna see, you know, if I have to give it muscle and it looks like I do. And you know what? It looks like the chain is getting brighter and more silver. So I'm impressed. I wonder if what would happen if I soaked it overnight. Um, I don't think that it takes the tarnish off, you know, by itself. I think you do need to put some of that elbow grease into it. And there they are side by side. And I can really see the one on the right is much whiter and more silver. So yeah, I would definitely say that 
the mixture of baking soda with white distilled vinegar worked to remove tarnish from silver and I'm really surprised. I am happy with this. I hope it answered some questions. Try it out at home and check back Friday. I'll be back with another video. I have a low temp soft soldering jewelry video coming up for you next. So don't forget to check back and be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.